Hello and welcome to Ember's Reading Room. We're kind of doing a one-off this time. This is neither a story from Bedtime Tales or from the box donated by Sasami-chan. This is probably as close as I will ever get to giving away our location. Author and illustrator and wife Kelly Hansen has recently passed. I always saw her books in one of the bookstores I went to and never picked one up. So, better late than never. So, this is Fairy Farts, written and illustrated by Kelly Hansen. I, I was surprised at that title. I had to read it a couple of times. Is that, is that what I'm reading? That is what I'm reading. Yeah, so I always thought the artwork was cute, but the subject matter didn't particularly grab me. Everything you never knew about flatulence in the fairy kingdom. Or ever wanted to know. Well, the back says it gets gross, but not too gross, so. Hmm. Everybody knows that fairies are the most beautiful and graceful creatures in the entire magic world. Really depends on what type of fairies. Yeah, it looks like they're going for more Tinkerbell Cinderella type fairies. Mm -hmm. Very cute art style. Kind of a cross between stick figure and a more simplistic style. They flit and fly with delicate sparkling wings and make magic with their delightful dust. But I am here to tell you something no one knows. It's the deep, dark secret that the fairies really, really, really don't want you to know. And it's almost... Except for one of them, it's like they're doing this see no evil, speak no evil, and I can't remember what the other one is. It's a, it's a set of monkeys. Yeah, hear no evil. She's Except she's grabbing her stomach. You see, most humans have heard of fairy dust, but not too many are aware of fairy farts. That's right, all fairies fart. That was in all caps, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, it's... Wow. It, it's, it's like I'm generating a small, weird kind of sensation in my head. I think it's that, like, that, oh, this would be cute to read to kids because they would get a kick out of it. Yeah, because farts. And although the fairies like to think that their farts smell like roses and lilies, the truth is they don't. You can understand why the fairies want to keep the whole thing secret. After all, they have a reputation of grace and beauty to uphold. They usually try their best to be discreet. That squirrel and that bird do not look too happy. Well, look at where the fairies are in relation to where the animals are. And the whole thing of they try to be discreet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one's hiding in a log and the squirrel's on top of that log near a hollowed out not stump, but a hole left over from a branch on the tree stump she's hiding in. And the bird is coming out of a hole in their tree, and the fairy's just behind that particular tree. Unfortunately, despite all the best fairy efforts, sometimes their little secret becomes obvious. Really, I don't know what they expect, especially when you consider the typical fairy diet. Everyone knows that no true fairy can resist a good bean burrito. Ah, that reminds you of that classic quick poem that I'm not going to say right now. Oh, thank you for making me mentally recite it real quick. <laughs> That's also for everyone out there who probably recited it themselves. And don't even get me started on the fairy fascination with chili cook-offs. Oi. Yeah. That one, though, is a little off. Real chili cook-offs have uh, very specific rules about what goes in the chili, and most of them don't allow beans. Ah, interesting. Also, chili is really good. Well, you can get some really good chili out there. I've had some weird chili. was like, this is chili. Where Where's the meat? Well, there are vegetarian chilies. Yeah, but this particular one wasn't meant to be a vegetarian chili. Still, you can see how it could be embarrassing. No matter what the reason. Most fairies just try to pretend it doesn't happen. And there's a squirrel pointing at a fairy that's going, What? I, I, I don't smell anything. I meant mouse. The ice fairies have a particularly difficult time with that. 
Mm. You know, so cold you can see your breath. Nah, I've never seen a fart in cold weather. All sorts of things this book gets you to think about. Yeah. They're not just embarrassing either. They cause small problems like fairy magic backfires at best. Backfires. I see what you did there. Also, it's in quotes. And huge problems like threats to the whole fairy kingdom at worst. <laughs> Someone noticing a fairy around because of the toot. A little fairy is at the edge of a human-sized bed with a person sleeping in it. And she's hiding behind the bedpost and she goes, oops. Yes, because she almost made it out with the tooth. Ah, oh, I see now. Tooth fairy, gotcha. Despite the problems it may cause, farting fairies need to remember that passing gas isn't all bad. There are some perks. Hmm. This kind of actually reminds me of an episode of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. <laughs> oh, Chip, Ollie, they... <laughs> why didn't I see that? I have no idea why you didn't see this coming. For example, when a tired fairy needs to fly fast, the force of air can be quite helpful. Also, that many, I mean, did you, like, hold it? It's bad for you. Well, when you're trying to be discreet, sometimes you do. And, as humans understand, farting is perfectly normal and can be a whole lot of silly fun when you are with a friend who understands. Ladies and gentlemen, have a skunk and a fairy and a big cloud behind the skunk. Well, the skunk's um, smell that we associate with them does not come from farting. You knew it comes from a gland near the same area. So, now you know the stinky truth. If you ever find yourself outside, enjoying the natural world, and you catch a whiff of something slightly foul, you'll realize that you may have just stumbled on the magic of a fairy fart. This, this book is cute in the oddest way. Quite. And although it may offend your nose, just remember, fairy farts make flowers grow. Okay. I thought that was photosynthesis, but we'll go with that. Well, maybe not. Ah, good catch. The first picture was a fairy with a bunch of flowers around her. The next picture is a fairy who tooted a couple of times, and they are now dead. Well, at least heavily wilted. Yes. The end. Thank you for purchasing Fairy Farts. Oh, cool. Visit findthewaypublishing.com slash fairyfarts to access free printable coloring pages featuring three new unpublished fairy farts scenes to color. Hmm, that's a nice tie-in. We'll yeah. have to make sure we include that link. Yeah, and that cover is going to be really easy to rework. Of course it is. It's in really good shape. I broke the rules and bought a brand new book at full price. It was worth it. Very much. I'm also talking about the overall design. It's mostly white. Yeah, there's a lot of white space. And this has been Fairy Farts. Everything you never knew about flatulence in the fairy kingdom. Written and illustrated by Kelly Hansen. That was very fun, Kelly. You're definitely going to be missed.